Hi everybody, my name is Kat Edel from the Dyscalculia Network. Today I'm going to do a video version of how we can use key facts um, or a reasoning approach to help teach times tables. Um, just for information, I'm using this great resource which is called a table stick. This is the magnetic teacher version, you'll see how it works, but it also comes in this great little pupil version or ideal for at home card version. Um, I'll pop the um, website details in the post. So, for our reasoning, we need to have looked at all those pre-skills that we talked at, about in our checklist. So check out that checklist if you haven't already. Um, and then we need to have also worked on the twos times tables and related division facts, so doubling and halving. We need to have looked at the five times tables and the ten times tables. And we initially teach the ten times tables by using halving. Um, we find the five times tables by finding the ten times tables and halving. There's lots of information on those on separate videos on our blogs. So today we're going to look at how we reason the other facts and we use a very consistent method so that the child always knows for every times table they're going to use this method and that gives them a reliable way in order to work out an answer when they can't remember it. So we're taking away the reliance on memory and we're giving a reasoning way of working out the fact which is really reassuring to a child who is finding it difficult to wrote, learn the times tables because they can always think about their key facts. I'm going to do these in order just to show you the reasoning but obviously if you were teaching these you'd want to do them from different starting points starting from tens starting from nines. Also I'm not showing you this with the hands-on resources so I would do this with to start with groups of four in little glass nuggets, groups of four in counters, uh, I'm saying groups of four, groups of three, three times tables, I would use groups of three for the um, four in nuggets, I'd use groups of three in counters and I'd use groups of three in cues and air rods to show what I was thinking but let's just talk about how we're working it out. So we've learned one times three is three or one group of three is three and I use groups of and lots of as well so make sure you vary the vocabulary um, and then two times three and to work out three times three we're going to ask the child to think, well, I know what two lots of three is. If we add another three on, what will that be? And the child should at this point already know that six add three is nine because that's a pre-skill, a number bond up to ten. Um, and then when they say nine, we can put this card on so handy they're magnetic, it's so easy to use. Um, and we could then count up another three to get to four lots of three, which are twelve. There is an alternative way of doing that, which is if the child knows five times three more confidently, they could do fifteen take away three would give me 12. And that shows a really good understanding of counting on and back. And again, pre-skill there to know. When we're moving on from five times three, I quite often take these ones off so that the child doesn't think, oh, I'll count all the way from three. So five times three is 15. So to get to six times three, we've got to do a really easy sum. We've got to do 15, add three more. And again, that's a skill we should have already looked at in our pre-skills, how to add on, add on um, a number to a teen's number. So Five times three is 15, so six times three would be 18. The child will really quickly say to you, oh, so if we want seven times three, we've got to add another three. And remember, we're building this with our concrete manipulative at the same time as well, or showing it on a screen. So then we can say seven times three is 21. I'm like, oh, fantastic, well done. How can we work out eight times three? Now, eight times three, there's two ways, and it depends on how confident the child is with their counting forwards and back. Some children like to go, well, it's five times three plus another three lots of three. Some children prefer to go back from 10. So this is something you can see what works best for the child you're working with. So we're going to think about eight times three. In this case, I'm gonna do the counting back way. So I'm gonna start with 10 times three, and then I'm actually gonna do nine times three first. So I'm gonna go 10 times three is 30. So nine times three is three less than 30. There's another pre-skill, multiple of 10 take away a single digit. We should know that's gonna end in a seven because when we take away three from a multiple of 10, it gives us a seven because that's the number bond, three and seven. So we get to 27. And then there's that eight times three. So we could either take away three to get to here or we could have added three onto 21. So eight's the one I think we could go either way. We could go back two groups of three or forward three groups of three depending on what the child finds easier. And then 11 times three and 12 times three. Sometimes I don't do these quite yet, especially if the child is very young, but with the older children I do. But so we could look at 10 times three is 30. So what do you think 11 times three is? And the child will really go, oh, it's just another three. 30 add three is 33. This seems a lot easier than thinking about um, worrying about anything else. Um, and then 11 times three is 33. So 12 times three must be another three more. So it's 36. So we are practising 
thinking about reasoning. We're not expecting the child to know straight away all these answers. We're expecting them to work them out. Now, this way does take a little bit longer than learning it by heart, but it ensures understanding because we're talking about groups of, we're talking about lots of, and obviously we'd have the concrete manipulative as well as the table stick. Difficult for me to show you and get it all in the picture. Um, but we're going to use all of those resources together um, to help the child get a really strong visual picture. And as long as they've got the pre-skills, then counting up and down from these points becomes really natural and they can do it more and more. And you'll soon find children repeating back your vocabulary. And because they've heard you reason it, they'll reason it back. So often I'll hear a child say to me, oh, so cat, so if 10 times three is 30, then I know that nine times three is 27 because it's three less than 30. So you're also encouraging the child to verbalise back to you what they're thinking. Love to know if you've tried table stick before or whether you want to um, and how you get on with this reasoning approach.